Hi everyone, we are back. Finally, it has been three weeks. It's been a long time because I haven't bought any shoes until a couple of weeks ago, So, but I couldn't. I was too lazy to do a video, but now we'll do both. Just in time for the win like 82, which drop on Saturday, so it's only like two days away. So hopefully we'll get them. And I don't even know what's out after that. So probably the win like 96, and then there's uh, them pink Air Jordan ones. I want them really bad, so hopefully, We'll get them as well because I believe they're meant to be dropping sometime this year, either February, February, it's funny this year, either November or December. So we'll just see how it goes. But they're the only three Jordans I want to get the two 11s and the, and the 1 1. Maybe the all green sixes, the Gatorade all green sixes, but we'll just see. We'll just see. But uh, the video I've gone to today, again, I wasn't going to get another pair, but I've got another pair of Vapor Max and I did get. The shit, what the hell are these called now? That's good, isn't it? Forget completely forgot what they're called. Did get these as well. All terrain, that's it, the ultra boost, all terrain with the black boost. Do review on that. They'll be in the same video because everybody knows what the Vapor Max is about now. But that that will just be a quick one at the end. So it's the Nike Lab Vapor Max. So yeah, let's get into the reviews. So let's do the Ultra Boost, all terrain. Limited version first. I, I didn't know what the LTD meant until the other day. I was being a bit special, so it is limited. So the, these did these did sell. When did these release? I think it was a week ago. I can't remember. Uh, well, they did sell out literally. I think within the day. And uh, I have to admit, they are really nice, really comfortable. It's the first time I've bought the Ultra Train. It'll probably be the last, to be honest, unless they do a triple black rather than the Oreo. But they didn't really advertise. It's very good Adidas for me. I mean the the upper the upper the upper of the shoe is uh, all 3M, and uh, obviously it's got like some type of I'm gonna have to say it's, it's got a, it's got some type of crep on or it's got some protective over the uh, prime knit, so the water will literally just dry straight off. So you haven't got to uh, put some crep on it because it's all, they're already on the shoe. And I, I have gone uh, a size 10 UK. I normally go 10 and a half. They only had a 10 left, so I did go uh, try for the 10. And I think a 10 and a 10 10 and a half you'll, you'll get away. Easy, very comfortable, like because it's all boost in it, so it is very easy. I like how they've done the uh, three stripes, like just uh, blended them into the uh, prime knit, and it is a lot more padded at the back if you do decide to buy a pair of uh, the all terrain just for the winter. And the nice color, the tongue does look a bit weird after a minute, it's just got added that on there, but uh, the, that the color it actually is a nice, decent fit. So, yeah, that's the uh. Ultra Train Ultra Boost. The only thing I would like them to have done is uh, probably add a black bottom, but I think if they do the triple black version, that will be the uh, obviously black bottom with the white boost and then painted painted black boost. But uh, yeah, they are very good. Obviously, you've got your 3D printed at the back. Well, I don't think it's 3D printed, I think it's meant to look 3D printed, but uh, it does look good. I have to admit, that does look good. So yeah, there's the uh, Ultra Boost Ultra Aim. The box is, I'm gonna call it Oreo because that's has to crap with uh, color codes and colors and everything. But you've got, color, we've got, they've got the code there for the shoe, but there's no color code, so there we go. That's the box, typical Ultra Boost box. Uh, the next Adidas will be is, I don't know, I don't think it will be one to be honest, so it might be the last Ultra Boost I'll get, unless they do something really good. Maybe they could be actually tell a lie if they release the uh, Triple Black 4. The what is it 4.0? If they release that sometime in the future, so just have to wait and see. Wait and see. So the next video, no, it won't. It won't be the next video. It will be straight after this. So right, we're back with the Vapor Max. This will be hopefully will be my last Vapor Max. I won't buy any more. Try and promise I won't buy any more. It's only, I only bought this one because I just like the colorway with the. Uh, Gold swoosh and it's got a splatter on the uh, air bubble. I actually quite like these, and it's got a yellow underneath. That was the only reasons why I bought it because you can see a bit of yellow and a bit of splatter, and it's got 3M on the swoosh. That is generally why I bought the shoe. Of course, I will do on feet of both the Vape Max and the Ultra Rain Ultra Boost. So yeah, that, that would hopefully, fingers crossed. And that, they did, because it's a Nike Lab version as well, they did change the tongue. They put the uh, swoosh on the back and the side and they output the swoosh and the Nike inside the shoe as well. 
that's the only differences compared to a normal Nike Vapor Max rather than a Nike Lab Vapor Max. So yeah, that's a last look at the shoe. And hopefully the next video will be win like 82, win like 96, and the pink Air Jordan ones. Uh, I think that would be my year finish then if they don't release anything else that I want. But yeah, look, we'll, we'll have to see how it goes, see how it goes. And of course I will do on feet of both the Adidas and the, and the Nike. So. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.